Hi hi, it's me Dora V here and today I'm going to do something I should have done ages ago and that is read Louis Dreamweaver. All I did was just plow through it like I tend to do, but since Louis is one of the very few that I'm a bit attached to, I figured perhaps we should go ahead and uh, read the Dreamweaver. So let's see what we got. Let's review the story. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, well, in the canon I think like most of you would know it's that Louis stopped sending notes but in my head canon they it, they didn't because Louis couldn't really let go but whatever mm hmm Louis yeah, so like I said, I didn't like do it that way. Because I feel like if it's been like years since he stopped, one would think that you'd move on, you know, like somehow. But if they keep communicating, then they'd have a chance, you know. So I, I wish that they could have done that in canon because I feel like it would have made things so much more heartbreaking but that's just me oh that's it oh next let's see what we got here yeah 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 Stupid, it just he's just one of those people it's like just maybe like wants to try to say things right. <sighs> yeah. Oh no. Uh questions. Ah, uh, yeah, uh... So he believes it, yeah. <laughs> Butterbear! Ah! What is this, Harry Potter? Oh, Louis is sweet, though. Um, hasn't it always been that way though? Like, there are people of war. Warlords have always been there. Um, nope. Must be fun. It's like the white nights and the dark days. That that's kind of why like they have seasonal affective disorder. Uh, just uh, whatever. Uh huh. What? Ah. Okay. Interesting watch. Uh, you'll see. Okay. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do.
Okay, so trials here. I've done that and that. Oh, wait, here we go. An RPG. <laughs> a role playing game or a bazooka thingy? I know. Ah. No, I expect no less some Grey Raven. Uh huh. Oh no, it's a robot! What? Wait a minute. I wonder if I might have gone in the wrong order. Oh, there we are. Oopsie. Because it's actually like... Uh, Alright, I did an oops. Eh, <laughs> yeah, whatever. opinion um mm -hmm. uh, here we go Jeez. Well, people still manage to live there, though. Uh oh. Interesting that he recognizes him, but okay. Yep. Ah, uh, well. Let's feed him for Louis. Yeah, obviously, or he probably wouldn't have done it. But well, whatever. <laughs> Finishes, she does. Good for Nikki.
Uh-uh. What key? I guess that I know that like the nameless lights hold the key to the blood curse. I know that. Of course you are. Yes, it's so like him, but here, like, as you can see, like, they, um, the breaks through, because Louie is smart. He's smart boy. <laughs> and so there's a robot that attacks. Yep, there comes a robot, and then, here we go. Uh-oh. And then there's a helicopter... Yeah, and he gets Morrison and whatever that key is. Hey, Grey Raven. Yeah. Like, okay, yeah, it's, um, well, just, just keep going, shall we? Something like that. This is like all along. Oh, God. Heinrich, oh, Nadog, hello. Inconceivable. Now it sounds like the guy from the Princess Bride, but I guarantee you the tone will be a lot different. Yep, that's Louie for you. Yeah, true. Yeah, something I like to say though about Nadog. I'm gonna call it dialectical materialism and it's kind of a form of woke and what that means is it's not like what it's it's not what you think it basically means you see things as they are and you know, that's what woke means I guess class consciousness could mean that too and and I think like He's aware that like a utopia doesn't exist. Idealism is dangerous. And true peace doesn't exist. There's no such thing as peace. There were only pauses between battles. That's some shadow madness. Very underrated game. Okay, where were we? Huh, good gravy now. I'm thrown off. So where do we go now? Uh, is it here? Battle in deep snow? Hope I get this right. Oh, he did do that. Yeah. <laughs> you know how he is. A comrade. <laughs> uh, this doesn't really sound like... I just don't think that Nadog believes in fate. And I feel like, the, and if he does mention fate, it's like a fate that they created themselves. Like It's kind of his way of saying, you brought it on yourself, Louie, but whatever. Mm, gosh, comrade. <laughs> Hmm. You see, the thing is, Louie doesn't see it as fake, and neither do they. Me, I do. But, hey, what do I know, right?
Yeah. Of course he does. Oh! Uh-oh. Oh, yikes. Right at the Oh, headshot! Whoa! Dang! That guy's tough. Yep, afraid so, Louie. Ah, uh, so the neck then? Oh. Huh. That would be shade. At least is that your thing? I'll try that one. Truly so. seems being the operative word here. It's like basically like in my head canon he it's gonna make it meant to be but <laughs> yeah. um, so Obviously, especially if they hold the key to the blood curse. Oh, Jesus, where the hell am I now? Uh, help, help, help. Yeah, that's you, right? Oh, dear. He knows. Oh, oh, Louie. Yeah, there we go, yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, and, um... So, like those of you who might have seen the Van Gogh event, I think Nadal gets those keys. And I think it's because he has leverage over Louie, and so Louie is forced to hand over the key. Like, something like that. Um... Yeah, I end up not following this in my own fanfic, but it's fine. We can be canon divergent, it's cool. No oh boy, until dawn, very Oh, damn. <laughs> Yikes. Well, uh, okay. And so now it's this one, I think, yesterday's farewell. Send it, you donk. What? No. I do not accept this. Had an appointment. <laughs> what the hell? No. <laughs> it <bu> bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. It's kind of. <laughs> 
That is the sun a bit romantic, though. May you always reside in that warm and beautiful world. I vow to always protect you here from the shadows. Yeah, yeah, that, that, uh, well. <laughs> oh, no. That's yucky. And so here's the night again. Yeah, and you know that Grey Raven no likey Louie. Yeah, he probably wants some merry vengeance on him. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, because Nadok thinks he's going to win it all, so... Ah, uh, wait, run that by me again? Yeah, it's like he knows it's Louie. Yeah, it's like he knows it's Louie. And, and I do happen to agree. I feel like at that point, like, Lou would be the one who just takes over because, duh. And so that is something that I made clear in my own work, but anyway. Yeah, I just I call BS. Nope, we're not gonna do that. Yeah, it sure did appear alright. Yeah, you must be even. Yep, sounds about right. Uh, so poor Louie. The reason why I'm doing this is that Dawnfront is approaching and it's actually the last one. And then I believe it'll be the uh, final face-off between Louie and Nadog. And I suspect that if the Dawnfront happened before the Van Gogh event, then this means Nadog won. He gets leverage and yoinks the key. If Nadog lost again, like if if Dawnfront happens after Van Gogh, then maybe Nadog has a reason to do what he did. Ooh, but we don't know. We have no idea. Guess we'll find out in about the year twenty thirty thousand or something. But how are we doing here? That is horrid. I have to change the suit, but at this point, I don't know if I care. Uh, Proyas has yet to enter. Dora, ugh. Nah. Like I said, like at this point, eh. <laughs> like, whatever. So, that'll do. Hope you enjoyed that. See you later. Goodbye.